everyone, Shadow Wraith back again, this time with a quick guide on completing the Prophecy Dungeon Solo Flawless for the new emblem. You can use the same strat with a fire team, but we're going to be mainly focusing on tips and tricks that I learned when trying to get that emblem. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, looking at subclasses, we're going to be starting this with Top Tree Dawn Blade Attunement of Sky for the Icarus Dash to skip room one. We're going to then switch to Well of Radiance for the boss fight, and then we're going to be using Attunement of Hunger Devour Build for the remainder of the dungeon. We're using Mountaintop, Gnawing Hunger with Demolitionist for Grenade Regen, Falling Guillotine for the first boss fight, Anarchy from there on, and then a couple mods, Taken Armaments for Heavy Ammo on Grenade Kills, Taken Invigoration for getting your Rift back when killing Knights, Taking Charge for getting charged with Light, Protective Light for survivability, and then Taken Barrier also for survivability. Dropping into Encounter 1, you're going to skip this, just jump on this ball. From here, jump up into this pipe, sword your way up to the top. Once you get to the top, double jump, double Icarus dash, and you'll be up here. Double jump and double Icarus dash again. Switch to Well of Radiance, and then start the encounter. The main mechanic of this fight is killing knights so that they'll drop three moats, and if you kill them while you're standing in shadow, they'll drop three dark motes. If you kill them while standing in the light, they'll drop three light motes. When you pick up five of these motes, you'll get a cleansing moat that you can use to cleanse these plates. These plates are actually close enough in this fight that if you jump up on top of here and then go to right in the middle, slightly closer to the top plate, you can cleanse both at the same time. So you can see both dark are cleansed there. And now I kill two more knights from the light to get light motes. Jump up top cleanse both plates again, and then that will start the damage phase. Now you just run to the boss, drop your Well of Radiance, and then use Falling Guillotine and sword through his health. Midway through, um, there will be these little shield guys that spawn. If they make the boss invulnerable, go kill them very quickly, and you should have enough time to solo one phase this, no problem. This is actually the most hectic fight, in my opinion, of the entire dungeon. So once you finish this, you're in good shape. Now switch to Devour, and then you will go into the next encounter, which is the Wasteland. You're going to look for these three Blights. They could be anywhere in the map, but that's what you're looking for. On your way there, if you see this yellow sand, you can jump in and grab the Secret Chest. After you grab that, continue on to the Blights. You're going to want to kill these Snipers first. There will be three at each set of Blights. Kill them, kill the three Blights, and then jump through Toland here. That will send those three blights to another location on the map. You'll do that another two times for three times total, and that will open up the way. When that door opens, you're gonna look for these little rib looking things, and then you're gonna to go to the square side next to it. This is the door, and you'll run your way into the hexahedron encounter. Drop a raid banner if you need it and start the encounter. You'll want to take cover right away because all of the adds start spawning. A couple things to note here, you'll want to proc devour, try to clear the adds uh, first. There will be two snipers that spawn up top. When you kill the snipers, they will spawn knights. What you want to do is look for the side of the cube that Toland is on and then look for what color motes you need underneath it. So in this case, Toland's there. I need light motes. I just killed both snipers, so both knights have spawned. So I need to jump out of cover into the light to get them to spawn light motes when I kill them. So I finish that, get all my light motes, and then go cleanse that specific plate where Toland is. As you kill the knights, the snipers will spawn, so take cover again, finish clearing out the adds, and then jump to the middle, and that will teleport you to the next side. On the next side, do the same thing. Look for Toland, kill the adds, kill the snipers, repeat, repeat, repeat and then you'll eventually get to the boss side. These bosses don't have much health, it's not too bad. I use Anarchy in one, Nova Bomb on the other, and then you can finish the encounter, grab your loot, and then jump over the chest up into the wall, and it'll send you back to the wasteland. This time, all you do is head to the right, go in here, and this will take you to the Sparrow encounter. When you're coming out here, my recommendation is to go follow the path, go through, I'm going to call it Diamond 1 to Diamond 2, and then when you get to Diamond 2, go
go into Diamond 2 and go the rest of the way using the platforms instead of the Sparrow Path. So here's the knight. Kill him, jump up, jump up to the left. And then follow these platforms out. You're going to want to jump through Diamond number 3. There's a secret chest in Diamond 4 that I'm not going to show in the video, but you're trying to get to that bottom platform. I use this guy to boost me off a little bit to skip a few of the platforms. Optional, not necessary. Jump through Diamond 3, and then you'll eventually get down to this platform, and this should suck you up towards the final boss encounter. Again, that diamond right there is the one with the secret chest if you really want it. There are ads in here, but you can just run past them all to the boss room. The boss room is like a pyramid, so the base is like a triangle, and there will be one plate at each point of the triangle that you have to clear. So you'll want to look for this circle. This gives you a lot of cover. Proc Devour. Check what colors of moats you need, and then kill the knights to get those colors. Once you get them, be very careful. Try to avoid getting surrounded. Recover health, again, in that circle if you need it. And then cleanse the plate. Cleansing the plate makes an ogre spawn, so I drop... A rift here. Ogre spawns, double sticky with anarchy, hit him with one mountaintop and he should die. Clear out the rest of the adds, cleanse the other two points of the triangle, and this will drop you into the damage phase. So again, after the last cleanse, kill the ogre, use your grenade to get back any heavy ammo you need, and then make sure you're going in with your grenade for oppressive darkness and full ammo so that you can make sure you're hitting at least a third of the boss's damage. This boss fight, uh, I'm going to speed up a little bit, but you can see the route that I take. I double sticky, dodge his first portal, and then use grenade and nova bomb. Fire one mountaintop, then jump to kill these snipers. The portal will teleport you backwards, and if you're too far from the boss, you'll start getting stacks of dark entropy. To reduce those stacks, you have to be inside this large circle around the boss. You'll kind of see a haze circling him when you jump in it. Your stacks will start to decline. Again, in between his teleports, make sure you have two anarchy stuck to him, and then alternate that with killing the snipers, because they will take you down very, very quickly. At the end, you'll see if you get hit with a portal, it's not that big of a deal. Take your time, just jump back to the boss, get inside that ring to make sure you don't die from dark entropy. And by the time you finish, you should have done over a third damage. Wait for your grenade to recharge, drop back in. And then as you're going down this pipe, look down. It will flip you as soon as you go through this purple thing. Look down again to orient yourself and then find that round cover. Head over there, reproc devour, and then start killing adds. One thing I would highly recommend is jumping a lot because the knight's fire does so much damage to you. If you're jumping around, it throws off their aim and then it keeps you from unwittingly standing in that fire. Jump back into boss damage phase after cleansing all the plates, and you'll eventually be able to finish off the boss, and it'll teleport you to the loot room. And if all has gone well, you haven't died, you will now be presented with your beautiful new triumph emblem for completing this solo flawless. So hopefully this was enjoyable and you were able to learn something. Thanks.